Hi, it's me again, and I'm back with another one of my letters from TV licensing videos. Now, the other day I was going through my emails looking at attachments, and I must have been sent this a couple of hundred times, which tells me this is the main current one that's going around from TV licensing at the minute. So let's take a look at it, and we'll break it down and show you how not scary and how utterly ridiculous the whole thing is. If you're interested in more of the letters from TV licensing, so you can compare them with your own personal collection, You'll find a link to the playlist below, so you can hit that after watching this and go and have a look at some more letters. Right, let's take a look at this one now. Status under investigation in red letters. I love that. That's so funny. Right, what's the main bit? Official notice from Location Enforcement Division. Please read carefully. You are in breach of the Communications Act 2003. It says that there, but then if you read on, it says... If you watch or record live TV programs on any channel or device or download or watch BBC programs on iPlayer without being covered by a TV license. That's true. It's true. And you are in breach if you. But the problem is, the way they've got it, they're trying to scare you. They're trying to scare you. They're not going in thinking you're innocent, really, are they? They're going in assuming guilt to scare you into paying for something you may not need. So what's the main basis of this letter? As we still have no record of a TV license at this address, by law we have no option but to continue with our investigation. You should now expect a visit from our location enforcement officers. Again, assuming guilt. It's not a legal requirement to have a television license, even if you have a TV. And you can probably watch 90% of the stuff you'd watch anyway without a TV license. Link to that video below, shameless plug. But they're assuming guilt. Look, as we still have no record of a TV license at this address, by law we have no option but to continue with our investigation. They're assuming you're doing something wrong. When you're probably not. You know, you don't need a TV license to watch catch-up services and Netflix and all of that stuff. So why are they doing an investigation? Why can't they just ask us if we need one? If enforcement officers find evidence of illegal TV viewing, you could be interviewed under caution in accordance with national criminal law, which could lead to prosecution. The maximum penalty is a criminal conviction, a £1,000 fine plus any legal costs and or compensation you may be ordered to pay. It's bad, isn't it? It's terrible. It's terrible. So let's break this bit down. If enforcement officers find evidence of illegal TV viewing, how could they possibly find evidence? Now, if you're new to this channel, there is only one way if you get a TV license inspector knock on your door, that they can find evidence of illegal TV viewing. One way only. And that's if you tell them. You tell them. That's the only way. So if you're new to this channel, TV license inspectors don't have any powers. They're not scary people. They try and think they are, and they want you to think they are. They're door-to-door -door salesmen. Imagine them trying to sell you pegs or J-cloths. So you open the door. They say, I'm from TV licensing. And you go, no, I'm all right. Bang. Close the door. That's not hitting them on the head. It's closing the door. That's it. Investigation over. Even if you are doing something you shouldn't be doing and you shouldn't be, they don't know. And they can't know because you haven't told them. All of the, uh, all of the convictions and the fines that come from watching TV without a TV licence are gained from the evidence got by the TV licence inspectors when they knock on your door and intimidate you into saying something. Close the door. Even if you're doing everything straight, you don't want to talk to these people. Close the door. So that's that. Then the next bit says, you could be interviewed under caution in accordance with national criminal law. How? I've just closed the door. Who are you? you can interview my door handle or my doorbell all you like, but you're not interviewing me because I've closed the door, as is my right to do. It's my property. The maximum penalty is a criminal conviction, a £1,000 fine plus any legal costs and or blah, blah, blah. But none of that can happen unless you've given them any evidence. And if you're doing, you know, if you're playing a straight game, which is the way you should be, you still don't want to talk to them because there's so much evidence out there that they do stitch some people up. So the best thing to do is never speak to them. And that's it, investigation over. Official notice from um, Location Enforcement Division makes no difference. I'm not talking to you. What else does it say? To stop a visit to your address, buy a TV license or tell us you don't need one. Tell us you don't need one at TV license in the code UK slash no TV. You can do that. And I do recommend people do that. It doesn't really stop the visits. It doesn't really stop the letters. But it gives them numbers they can work from or how many people are opting out. And then they know 
and then they can see how much their TV license ID is going down the bog, can't they? But you don't have to tell them. There's no legal requirement to tell them. You can just blank them, as this person does. As you can see, the letter is addressed to the legal occupier. Brilliant. They don't even know who this person is. Brilliant. How can they, how can they do any investigation? The first bit of their investigation should be finding out the person's name. And it, their name, I'm sure, isn't legal occupier. Well, that would be a good name. If I ever have a kid, I might call it legal occupier. Right, what's next? Please get in touch now to stop this investigation. No, I don't have to. And you've got no investigation. We can help you check if you need a TV license and choose the best way to spread the cost if you need one. Oh, how nice of them. If you don't need a license, we will, of course, stop our investigation. Of course you will. It won't stop the letters, necessarily. You might get nicer letters. And you may still get a visit, even if you tell them you don't need a license. I do do it, and I do say to do it, as I said, because it gives them official numbers to work from, how many people have opted out. And it goes to show how many people are cancelling rather than just knocking them. So you should do that, but you don't have to. It's up to you, really. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, this is doing the rounds, and... They're trying to scare you. They're assuming guilt, and it's just a standard TV licensing letter. There's nothing they can do. Same rules apply. You get a visit, say, hello, who are you? Hi, I'm from TV licensing. Door shut, done. Over. Investigation over. They don't even know who this person is. So what they're investigating, I've got no bloody idea at all. It's crazy, isn't it? Don't be scared by these scummy tactics. If you don't need a TV license, you can let them know you don't need one or not. It's entirely up to you, but don't be scared by the letters. The best thing to do with the letters, bin them, shred them, use them as hamster bedding, whatever you want to do, but don't be scared by them, all right? If you want to learn more about the letters, like I said, there's a link below, and there, I've done loads of these letters now. Every time there's a big one doing the rounds, I do a video on it, just so people can not be scared by it, because I just don't like these scummy tactics that TV licensing use to sell you a product you may not need. So let me know what you think of this letter in the comments below. While you're down there, do hit the subscribe button and the like button to show your support for this channel. The subscribe button doesn't cost anything, but it does keep you up to date with all my latest videos. So it's worth doing if you like this channel and you want to help support it. Subscribe button's a great way to go, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This time last year, I was at just over 5,000 subscribers. Now we're at well over 40,000, and it's growing, and we're reaching more people, and we're helping more people. And doing this channel... And the few quid that I make from it has helped me create the website, tvlicensestop.co.uk, which helps hundreds of people a month to cancel their TV license, give them the support they need to not be scared by these bloody tactics and these blimmin' letters, because I just can't stand it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you, I'll see you in another video again soon. Bye.